When folk talk about the constellation of Orion, two stars are almost always the first out of the hat, Rigel and Betelgeuse. In fact, they're possibly the most famous stars of all other than our sun. The thing is though, Orion contains as many as seven stars in the top 100 brightest, equaled only by the constellation of Scorpio. Hi everyone, Vega here, and in today's video we're going to focus on Gamma and Kappa Orionis, two of the most underrated stars of all. So, let's get to it. These two stars, the other stars if you like, make up the famous Orion quadrangle asterism, Safe and Bellatrix. Bellatrix is the third brightest star in the Orion constellation, situated 5 degrees west of the red supergiant of Betelgeuse. It's designated as Gamma Orionis, and its brightness varies slightly around magnitude 1.6, making it typically the 25th brightest star in the night sky. Located approximately 250 light years from the Sun, Bellatrix is a blue giant star that is around 7.7 .7 times more massive than the Sun, with a diameter about 5.75 times greater. The name Bellatrix comes from the Latin word Bellatrix, meaning female warrior. The gamma designation is commonly given to the third brightest star in each constellation. Bellatrix has been used by scientists to measure brightness and study its spectrum. However, these measurements have proven over the years to be somewhat unreliable. In 1963, Bellatrix was included in a group of stars for creating a brightness scale, and it was given a specific value of 1.64. Yet fast forward to 1988, a sky survey indicated that Bellatrix may vary in brightness, ranging between 1.59 and 1.64, suggesting possible irregular variations. In another era of calculation, this time in 1971, Bellatrix was considered a standard for the B23 type star, but subsequent brightness calculations showed a discrepancy, and scientists later realised it should be categorised as a B2 main sequence star, and not a giant. And further analysis suggested it might even be a spectroscopic binary composed of two less luminous stars. Current understanding, however, suggests that Bellatrix is a massive star, and as I say, with a mass of about 7.7 .7 times that of the Sun. While it's not confirmed to have a stellar companion, the possibility does remain that there is a spectroscopic binary. Although in a search in 2011 for nearby companions, no conclusive evidence was found. Bellatrix has an estimated age of around 25 million years, which makes it old enough to have evolved away from the main sequence into a giant star by consuming the hydrogen as its core. In essence, Bellatrix is a bit of a mystery, whether it is a main sequence star, a giant, or indeed even a spectroscopic binary. The proper motion of Bellatrix also has an unusual deviation, and this could interestingly be explained by the presence of an unseen companion, perhaps a black hole, in a face-on orbit around 100 astronomical units away from the star, with a long orbital period. Bellatrix is the third brightest star in Orion, and typically the 25th brightest star in the night sky. In this graphic we observe what Bellatrix would look like if it were to suddenly approximate the solar system to the distance of the star of Sirius, located some 8.6 light years away. First, we see the old Bellatrix star disappear, and then slowly the much closer now Bellatrix reappears, but this time at an apparent visual magnitude of minus 5.8, which would be roughly three times brighter than the planet Venus, and an incredible 54 times brighter than the current brightest star Sirius. There's no doubt that Bellatrix would shine all day and night, seen with the naked eye even when the sun is high in the sky. Interestingly, an astronomical object casts human visible shadows when its apparent magnitude is equal to or lower than minus four. So it's fair to say that Bellatrix would cast a shadow at the distance of Sirius. It's incredible to think about, isn't it? Safe designation Kappa Orionis is the sixth brightest star in the constellation of Orion. Of the four bright stars that compose Orion's main quadrangle, Safe is the star at the southeastern corner. Bizarrely enough, a northern hemisphere observer facing south would see it at the lower left of Orion, and a southern hemisphere observer facing north would see it at the upper right. Parallax measurements yield an estimated distance of 650 light years from the Sun, which is about the same as Betelgeuse. It is smaller and less luminous but hotter at its surface than Rigel with an apparent visual magnitude of 2.1 and a variable star varying by 0.04 magnitudes. Even though Safe is much hotter than the constellation's brightest star of Rigel, Safe appears dimmer because due to its high temperature, it emits much of its light in the invisible ultraviolet wavelength. Safe is a supergiant with a stellar classification of B0.51a. 
the Luminosity Class 1A represents a bright supergiant star that has exhausted its supply of hydrogen at its core and evolved away from the main sequence. Safe has a strong stellar wind and is losing mass at the equivalent of the Sun's mass every 1.1 million years. The star has an estimated mass of 15.5 times the Sun and a luminosity of a huge 56,800 times that of our Sun and an age of around 6.2 million years. Large stars such as Safe and many other stars in Orion are destined to collapse on themselves and explode as supernovae. Safe is the sixth brightest star in Orion, appearing fainter than two of the belt stars and is around the 59th brightest star overall. Interestingly, SAFE orbits the galactical core at a distance between 24 and 26,000 light years, and it made its closest approach to the Sun millions of years ago, when it was a very young star, coming as close as 56 light years. Obviously, this means that SAFE is actually now speeding away from our Sun at a brisk 20.5 kilometers a second, and at one point it would have been exceptionally bright in our skies, possibly even the brightest star although SAFE back then would not have been as luminous as it is now due to it not having left the main sequence. Here we see a speculative graphic of what roughly the brightness of SAFE all those millions of years ago may have looked like. It's impossible to say exactly how bright the star would have been as we mentioned before. Back then, at 56 light years distance, it would not have been the supergiant star that it is today, and more a simple blue main sequence star. For those that are really star nerds, my suspicion is that SAFE would have been similar in brightness to the star of Adara at its closest approach a few million years ago. But as SAFE would have been slightly further away than Adara, I think Adara would still hold on to the title of brightest star in the sky in known terrestrial history, at least for now. In this next graphic, we compare the blueness of SAFE and Bellatrix to other famous stars. The lower the number, the bluer the star is. Interestingly, we see that strangely Rigel at minus 0.03 is the least blue of the B-class stars. This is because Rigel is a bluer colour when looked with a more sensitive UV filter. Both Spica's major stars combined at minus 0.23 and Adara at minus 0.21 are also both bluer than Bellatrix, number of minus 0.21. Again, the lower the number, the more blue it is. Safe, on the other hand, at minus 0.18, remains bluer than both Regulus A at minus 0.11 and Achenar at minus 1.6. Deneb at plus 0.09 is an A-class supergiant and has now crossed the zero boundary and begun to have yellow tinges. The bluest of all on this list is the magnificent Shaola of minus 0.24. Orion is a constellation with two very famous stars, Betelgeuse and Rigel, but living in their shadow are two other Orion stars that make up the famous quadrangle of Bellatrix and Safe. Bellatrix is a blue giant star, about which many miscalculations have been made. The female warrior star could possibly be facing down a black hole, and if it were at the distance of 8.6 light years, it would be three times brighter than the planet Venus. Safe, on the other hand, is a young star that millions of years ago was not all that far from our own solar system and watched us from a close distance. Since then, however, it has evolved and left the main sequence to become a bright blue supergiant. Both Safe and Bellatrix are surprisingly bluer than their more famous blue cousin of Rigel. Let's not forget these two incredible stars that make up the famous four, and indeed, possibly the most famous quadrangle in our part of the Milky Way galaxy. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you'd like to support the channel further, you can consider buying me a coffee in our links in the description. Thanks to those of you who have already done so. If you have any videos or subjects that you'd like to see brought to life, don't forget to let me know in the comments below, and your idea could next week show up. Take really good care of yourselves, look after your friends and family well, and I'll see you on the next one.